morning. So we are at Sparkling Hills Resort this morning and we have a busy morning ahead doing a bunch of steam saunas and pools and it's amazing here. Check out the view. These hotel rooms are insane. Definitely a little bit dirty at the moment. I'll insert a clip of the hotel room when it was clean when we walked in, but it is so cool. going to Revelstoke later on today to go snowboarding. I'm so excited because I haven't been to Revelstoke for a couple years now and I'm really really hoping that it got a big dump of snow last night because it was snowing like crazy here last night so Revelstoke's even higher elevation. Fingers crossed that it snowed. It's eight o'clock in the morning and the moon is still up. We're wearing matching couples robes. Isn't that romantic? Ooh, dee -dee. Da -dee -da. Smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you got the The way your body makes my heart beat sound It's amazing all the time You are the only thing I need Hi! <laughs> Come in! why I don't write recipes. Seriously, it is so helter skelter, adding things at absolute last minute. Mom's trying to figure out what she's putting into whatever she's making and we like mesh them together and it ends up as this mess. So I'm gonna make this recipe for you on my main channel but this is why when you guys ask for recipes, I'm like, I just don't have them because I just make it up. <laughs> it would be terrible if I tried. You don't have to be so scared of everything. Not everything's out to get you, you know? All right, my friends. On to the next adventure. No sleep for the wicked. No rest for the wicked? What is that saying? I don't know. So this is the Revelstoke Village and Jess crazily waving downtown and we just had dinner at the Rockford. It was pretty yummy. The veggie burger was really good. Um, and then this is the rest of the village. So as you can see, it's like pretty small down here, but it's pretty cool. That's um, a really cool bar down in there. I wanna go there tomorrow maybe if we have time. But yeah, we're gonna head back home and play some board games, yes! So we're back at the house and we are finally going to be playing Settlers of Catan and I've seriously owned this game for two years. I've tried so many times to play it but nobody's taught me how to play. So I just gave up every time and finally Richie and his family know how to play. So we're finally playing! So we're setting up the table. It's gonna get dangerous. Richie's a bit of an so intense gnarly. player. Emotions. No, it's not emotions. emotions. are it's a going to fly. Winning versus socialism. You don't want to be a fucking communist while playing this game. <laughs> you <laughs> don't want to be kumbaya, as yeah, my parents would say. No kumbaya, kumbaya. play. <laughs> you want to be assholes instead. Yes. Yes. Yes is right. That's how you play, asshole. apparently. So that's 
it's the uh, aim of the game, but I'm so excited to play. It's gonna be fun. So it's like two and a half hours later. We had a blast. Chanel came out of absolutely fucking nowhere and just flattened us. I was doing so, so well. I was only two points behind her and I was devo that the game ended that fast. But oh my God, Settlers of Catan, new favorite thing ever. I'm gonna be obsessed, holy shit. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you really soon. Okay, bye.